This is the recently set up tank. This is day two now basically because we did set it up three days ago but it was at night time so get rid of the class that day. So this is day two and as you can see from the previous video the spike is now starting to clear. You can actually now see the seagrass. Uh, star grass, sorry, seagrass, I don't know where I got that from, um, at the back, but it is still a bit cloudy, so it's still not ready for fish, so you just hang in even longer, just wait your time, um, but during this time is where you check your thermometers, make sure your temperature is staying sta stable, and everything is stabling out, so this is happening, so tomorrow it should be even more clearer, and you should be able to see it be a lot more, well, it'll, it'll look better. You won't actually see the cloudiness, after, especially after the bite end of the week. That'll be gone. And these bubbles that you can see up on the inside, they usually disappear as well. They're a good indicator, I think. When they've all gone, you usually know you, you're good to go. Um, that's as long as you don't go messing around and knock the bubbles off. Just leave them and they'll take themselves off. So get a focus on there. Yeah, that's bubbles. Oh yeah, and there's a snail in there. The little critter snuck in there. But I'm not worried because we're going to get some assassins and um, that'll deal with them. But yeah, so that's an update. That's the day after from it was set up in the night time. Then I did I posted a video yesterday of the same tank in the same area. And you could see the difference between the two. That it is now actually starting to clear up on its own. And getting ready for the fish to be added but we wait longer the longer you wait the better it is there's no need to rush it take your time and you know then when you move your fish over and you acclimate them to this water and do all the difference that there's a lot less stress on the fish and they'll be a lot happier and to come to the new tank a lot quicker rather than just going right that's ready taking your fish out acclimating them over and banging them in it's a, it's not perfect in a sense although it looks perfect in that lot it doesn't do any harm just to give it an extra couple of days or an extra week or as long as you want take your time adding stuff into it slowly like this one we have not fully put a lot into it it's just a bit in the middle there it's a bit of a cave it's mostly plants just to help the water cycle really and get the water a bit on the softer side for the fish i have um but we will be adding some driftwood in there and some other little hidey holes and stuff like that so like I said this is not ready we're just getting it cycled so when I do ready for it I know that the water is good enough so but there you go that just shows how it does clear up if you just leave it alone now a lot of people make a mistake of they'll get a fish they don't have a clue they fill the tank up with tap water they plop the fish in it and then two days later they've noticed it's gone cloudy and they think oh no the water's dirty quick and they get the fish out and they tip all the water out and then they put fresh clean water in from the tap and put the fish back in and then in three days time it's doing it again and they think well i've got a filter in there why is this happening it's because it's what happens to water it cycles it goes through this change it has to do this before it becomes safe for the fish if you're just plonking your fish in it when it's like this, this will come to ammonia burn, diseases. Common one, especially in black moors, is fin rot, or where the, the tail fin and dorsal fin, it just rots away. And that's because the water quality isn't good enough. Now, once the water cycled and changed over, if this has happened, as long as you keep that water clean and do 10% changes, possibly weekly or so, and make sure you vac out any extra waste you see from the fish on the bottom, and do you change from the bottom of the water always draw it up from the bottom of the tank sorry not the bottom of the water and then add fresh in and do that weekly you'll see that it will recover the fish will get better if you are lucky if it touches the if the the, the rot the fin rot gets as close to touching the body then it is questionable from my own experience it is well experience it is very questionable but I'll pan you over to, oh sorry what I mean, this is Nemo, when we got him he had no tail fin, and you can still see he's in a bit of a bad way, 
but the the fin rot has gone his fin is now growing back you can see actually on his tail just a new growth there you go it just looks a bit fainter because it's new growth and he's a hell of a lot happier he's a lot more active he can find his food a lot better now he's had to video against the um, filter system and in the background is the breeding cherry barbs which are in the breeding tank you'll see them pass around they're not in this tank obviously this is cold water and the cherries are in tropical but yeah there's a quick look at him we call him Nemo after the captain and not the Disney Pixar film but he's our little champ and he's doing well and we will be getting him into a bigger tank he can't live out in here this is just a five gallon tank uh, it's not big enough for this fish but at the minute it suffice he's got plenty of space to swim around and to him it's a big tank but when he gets bigger that's gonna feel really small so we've got a nice big one we've got a what is it I think it's a 45 gallon that we can put him in he's only going to be on his own so he's, he's not going to have any tank friends but that's Nemo and what's over here let's have a quick look at the shrimp there we go with a ton of snails I need to get that sorted out we have found a way of doing it and it involves in sticking a plastic tube just in there reaching out the top and the snails tend to get curious and climb up it so then all you have to do is just lift the tube out and clean the snails off put the tube back in and you can sort of like harvest about 30 to 40 a time it's a really good way of doing it so yeah there's a quick look at some of the tanks we'll go over to this next one this is the hexagon tank and that's Jeff he's a powder blue and then we've got some pencil fish as well and some white fin ornate tetras or we call them the bunny rhinis because when you put the frozen brine shrimp in there it's like as if you've got piranhas and uh, when you get two together it looks like they're little bunny ears but they're a lovely fish and they've really come into colour since we've changed the diet and putting them onto frozen foods and that lot they're a lot more vibrant in colour I mean Jeff he was stunted we set this tank specifically for him because he was being bullied in the community tank and he just keeps going up and down so if I come back there we go so we actually set this tank up for him to put him in it and then we got him his tank friends and he's grown he's become a completely different fish he's so much happier so much out and about and loves the attention it's probably why he's like this now because he thinks I'm probably going to give him some dry blood worm or something see but yeah hey Jeff you're a gorgeous fish yes you are but you can tell by like where he's just above his beak it, well it looks like a beak that's because of the stunted growth but like I said when we put him in this tank he did grow again so you know it does shorten the lifespan Right, I'm not following him all the time, he's driving me nuts. Um, but he's happy now, and he's out and about, and he plays. And yeah, he, he messes about, tries building a nest, but there's not enough in there for him to build with, and he don't really get the idea of ripping plants to bits, thankfully. Uh, no, he just... Yeah, the pencil fish have gone hiding. They do. But they spawn in this um, type of hornwort we have here. I don't think it is hornwort, it's like it, it's a lot softer than hornwort it really is it's like a I don't know it's really like a soft fluffy teddy but they do like to spawn in there but because of everything else the eggs don't make it to the bottom but yeah so I hope you enjoyed a quick view of the tank and like I said the update on the water cycle of the new community tank that we've got set up So yeah, there we go, and I hope you guys all have a nice day, thank you very much.